So what does focusing on the right thing look like and then what does it feel like? So I've had several people ask like, what, is, what should I be focusing on A? And then when you tell them what to focus on, they give you this look like, and this look means uh, if I did that, I don't think I'd feel so hot. So real quick, um, you've heard this said, you know, when you poll a lot of the successful people, they say your main thing is to make the main thing the main thing. Um, and then, or they'll say something like 60% of the time you should be focusing on what we call at State of the Spark as ignited outputs. This is a term that I'm just coining, and if you're in State of the Spark and you're hearing for this for the first time, first time, IOs are ignited outputs. And these are things that we know are the outputs of you focusing on the queen bee role. The queen bee role is the top activity. It's the top leading action you should be doing. IOs is the top lagging action. It's the needle moving activity. So if you're a principal in the business like myself, there's a lot of biz dev. You're going to a lot of luncheons. You're creating a lot of resources and custom tools for partnerships. You're doing a lot of sales. You're doing a lot of motivation and client work or even teamwork. Um, you're working on stuff for the team. That's the queen bee role um, that I have for uh, the business. Now, um, Christina Rodriguez is with us and she does a lot of client success. And for Spark Sites, client success is a queen bee role because it makes everything running smoothly. It makes sure, it ensures that we've got stuff going back and forth from the clients to Marissa, from Marissa to the clients. So IOs are ignited outputs. They're the outputs that move the needle. Um, and so when I focus on this and I make this 60% of my week, if I, when I advise people and say, listen, you need to make IOs, ignited outputs, the top 60% of your week, they start going, wait a minute. If I focus on that, I'm going to have to cut this. I'm going to have to do that. I'm going to, oh my gosh, I'm going to be working so long into the night because of all this other stuff undone. So the second part of my video real quick is what does focusing on the right thing feel like? I'll tell you what it feels like. It feels like going home with fire still burning in the office but they're the fires you chose. These are fires that you chose that, you know what, they're other people's fires and other people's emergencies. Maybe that bill still needs to get paid, I'll pay it tomorrow. Maybe X, Y, and Z still needs to be done. If we're talking about living an ignited life of explosive significance, we're talking about also having a degree of quality of life. And to have a quality of life while still building a rapidly, hey, welcome to the thing, uh, Avi, welcome to the video. If you're still building your business and making the transition from solopreneur to actual small business, and if you're actually focusing 60% of your available time on IOs, ignited outputs, that's the queen bee role of your business, if you're focusing on that, inevitably there will be plates still spinning or fires still burning at work. So what will it feel like? You won't suddenly feel carefree if you focus on the right thing. You'll have a degree of peace of mind and you'll be able to endure in your heart the stresses that'll happen, but there will still be those external stressors. There'll still be people pulling on your shirt tail going, hey, 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 I still need X, Y, and Z. But if you've taken the time to plan what your IO is, what your queen bee role is and the ignited outputs, the IO of that, then you will still feel the stress of that, but you'll have a peace of mind that I did the most important thing I should the most important thing is I defined it, I'm executing on that. And so even though I might have ups and downs, because our fear when someone's tugging said, I still need X, Y, and Z, the fear is that client might leave, that employee might be upset. We have to trust that that's okay as long as you're focused. If you've chosen the right queen bee role and if you've chosen the right ignited outputs, the right needle moving activities, that's great. You've done that 60% of the time, that will help you overcome the highs and lows of client attrition. That will help you endure or overcome when an employee gets a little frustrated. You'll have peace of mind in a, for lack of a better term, zen to endure the stress. So you need to be able to punch the clock and go home. You need to know that there's night fires going on in the office. And even though that generally has caused stress in you, you should have peace of mind to counteract that, that you focus on the top business development activities if you've chosen the right activities and they're good business development activities, then you need to be okay with fires at home. So summary, what, is, what does it feel like to focus on the right thing? It feels a swirl of emotions. Half of those emotions are satisfaction that you did the right thing. The other half of those emotions are enduring and knowing that there's fire still going at the office and you're totally okay with that. So let me encourage you. Hey, Patrick, real quick. How you doing, man? So real quick, let me encourage you. Focus on your IOs, your ignited outputs. Focus on making the main thing the main thing. But don't believe that will create a sudden sense of freedom that nothing else will need to be done. No, it should create the internal fortitude to endure the stress that you're naturally putting on yourself as you reach for the next level and the fires are still burning for this current level. So I encourage you guys, go out there. Hey, happy holidays to you, Patrick. Have a great day, you guys. 
make it a great week, but still focus this week on making the main thing the main thing and know that that won't necessarily pr- produce stress-free living. It'll produce strength in you to endure the stress. So take care, guys. Have a great day.